the early Middle Ages, 501 to 1100. This period used to be called the Dark Ages because historians thought that civilization ended when the Roman Empire fell. Many people now call these years the early Middle Ages because they mark the start of a period that separates the ancient and modern worlds. The former Roman Empire split into two, the western part ruled by farmers, skilled metal workers, and shipbuilders. The eastern part became the Byzantine Empire. The Chinese and Arabs still led the way in science and technology. Buddhist and Christian religions were spread through trade, while Islam was spread through military conquest. The world at a glance. After the fall of the Roman Empire, new countries and peoples emerged in Europe. The lives of these people were governed by the Christian church, and a rigid social system, later called feudalism. Between Europe and the Far East, there was a huge area containing many different people who all shared the same religion, Islam. Farther north, Slavic countries such as Russia and Bulgaria were also forming. China was still culturally and scientifically far ahead the rest of the world. Its influence spread all over Asia and to Japan, where the arts flourished. In North America, the first towns were being built, and the Toltec civilization developed in Mexico. In South America, huge independent empires such as the Huari Empire were forming. Contact between these civilizations of the world was very limited. Only a few countries traded with each other. But Islam was gradually spreading over the whole of northern Africa through conquest and trade. North America. In about 700, two separate town cultures began to develop in North America. One was the Temple Mound culture around the Mississippi area a culture that traded far across the continent in copper and goods. Another was the Anasazi Pueblo culture in the southwest, where people lived in stone pueblos connected by roads. The Anasazi had an advanced religion. Elsewhere, many Native American tribes grew bigger and stronger, though there were still many farming and hunting peoples living either in permanent villages or as nomads. Far to the northeast in Newfoundland, the first white men arrived. The Vikings settled there for a short time around the year 1000. Mesoamerica and South America Around 600 to 700, the great Mexican city of Teotihuacan was at its greatest. Decline began around 750, both there and among the Maya further south. But the Mayan empire of city-states survived this whole period. From 900 to 1100, the warlike Toltecs flourished in Mexico. In Peru, in South America, the city-states of Tiwanaco Tiwanaco in the Andes and the Huari near the coast grew larger and more developed. Tiwanaco in preceded, by the Inca, preceded the Incan Empire. By 1000, the Huari were replaced by the Chimu Empire, which was developing around Chan Chan in northern Peru. Europe. Europe was busy finding its feet during the period known as the Dark Ages. The Byzantine Empire acted as a stable focus in Christendom, though fortunes rose and fell. In the 700s, the Muslims invaded Spain, setting up an advanced culture there that lasted 700 years. At the same time, farther north, the Carolingians created the first European empire, though it declined in the 800s after Charlemagne's death. In the rest of Europe, Nations were slowly taking shape, overseen by the Catholic Church in Rome. This process was accelerated by threats from the Magyars and Vikings, and by the Muslims in Spain and Anatolia. By 1100, some European nations were growing strong, stable, and prosperous. Universities were founded, church building flourished, and towns grew in size and importance. Medieval leaders started overseas military adventures and conquests, for example the European Crusades to win land in Palestine. Asia. In India, the Gupta Empire collapsed in 535, and the country was disunited. Both Hindu and Buddhist influences expanded in Southeast Asia. Around 775, the kingdom of Srijava, uh, Srivijaya, I, I give up. It's spelled S-R-I-V-I-J-A-Y-A. And Sumatra conquered the Malayan uh, Peninsula, and in Cambodia, the Khmer dynasty established the kingdom of Angkor in 802. 
The Chinese, one of the greatest dynasties, the Tang, lasted for 300 years, producing some of the finest works of art in Chinese history. From 960, it was replaced by the Song dynasty for a further 300 years. Elsewhere, a strong Tibetan kingdom rose and fell. The rich states grew up in Thailand, Vietnam, Japan, and Indonesia. In Central Asia, Turkic and Mongol nomads were growing in strength. Australasia. Polynesians occupied New Pacific Islands, moving to New Zealand around 900. In Australia, the Aborigines were outtouched by outside influences. The Middle East. The Sassanid Empire reached its greatest extent in 579. On the death of Muhammad in 632, the Islamic Empire began to expand. In 634, the Arabs conquered Persia and overthrew the Sassanid Empire. But by 756, the Islamic Empire began to break up. At the end of the 1000s, Jerusalem was captured by Crusaders. Africa. By 700, the whole of northern Africa was part of the Islamic Empire. In West Africa, Goldridge, Ghana grew wealthy and strong, and other trading kingdoms such as the Mali and the Kanem-Bornu began to be, uh, develop on the south, uh, fertile southern edge.